quickly just saw what happened when a couple asked us to visit their haunted house in Hanover. Our crew got a bit more than they bargained for, but this month, Fox 43's Katie Kairos returned anyway. She didn't go alone. Here's her update. We're still hearing the most is the crying, the children crying. We get growls all the time. Doors are constantly being slammed. Since we last visited this home, the days are shorter and it gets darker faster. But the couple who lives here says that's the only change. Tom and Deanna Simpson say after our story aired, they received advice from all over. But the haunting hasn't stopped. If I don't wish it on anybody else, uh, I wouldn't give any negative comments here after being through it to anybody else's experience. Fox 43 photographer Nick Petrillo had his own experience here that left a mark. Last time he was scratched by something he couldn't explain. This is a very serious haunting and anybody who comes in here needs to be careful. Homeowner Tom Simpson has received a similar scratch, one he's talked about before on a haunting reality show shot months before we visited. I was sitting here at the table and we were just kidding around one day and heard something and I said, oh, it's probably your ghost because I was very skeptical. Looked down and I had a scratch right across my wrist here. So that was a personal thing that had to happen to me. So it kind of makes you go from being skeptic to believing. On this visit, we had some company. This paranormal investigative team from Gettysburg has been visiting the home for years. We're very tough on evidence. We are not easygoing. Um, you know, we, if we wanted to help, we throw it out. We started in the basement where this photo was taken. The homeowners say it's a demon. This is the team who captured that photo. They've conducted several investigations in the basement. There's definitely a very ominous negative spirit in the basement of this house. There's, I have absolutely no doubt about that. Um, we have caught a woman and children also in the home, so there are very many spirits here. The team set up the camera system and a green beam light system to track any movement. Their clips picked up what look like orbs. They say it's a sign of spirit activity. The team plans to do an EVP reading. It stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. They're trying to pick up sound from any spirits who might be there. Real-time EVP. So I can actually hear what's going on in the environment as we're recording. Photographer Becca Nyer came along with me this time. Lucky her. Do you not like Katie and Becca being here filming? Wow. That was really weird. I... It almost sounded like something said Becca. Twice it sounds like something says the name Becca. Here it is on the team's spirit box. Say one of our names, please, okay? It's a device that tries to take sound from the other side by scanning radio frequencies. Who am I pointing to? The EVP picked up a few more clips, short words or phrases. And so did their spirit box. How many spirits? How many of you are there? Eight. Eight. Along the way, they had technical difficulties. Batteries kept dying. Did you just only put it in? It's a brand new battery. See? See, this is battery low. low. We believe a lot of the times when a spirit is trying to manifest, it can drain equipment. Medium Kathleen Leap says the same thing happened to her in the home. She tried to record communications with the presence in the basement. Just as I came around the corner, my phone locked up and it was dead. Leap says she senses multiple spirits in the home. When I came in here, I was surprised at just how heavy it is. There are just layers upon layers upon layers of spirits here. She sketched the spirits in chalk on this board. They're just feeling a little bit lost. I don't think they're all trapped. Some of them come and go, especially the children. The drawing includes dogs that she says were killed in the home. Investigators say they've heard them barking. Leap has her own theory about other spirits in the home. I think there may have been an old, old graveyard under here that, this, that was long forgotten and built over and I do believe they're still here. The longer you're here, the more they begin to show up. Oh, but this time only one person felt a ghostly touch. Soon after they arrived, investigator Bridget Goody felt her hair pulled. Um, this piece right here was totally pinned back and it actually got pulled and tugged when we were on the couch. We left unscathed and the Simpsons prepared for another night in their mysterious home. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge me or my family when you're not living in this position. In Hanover, York County, Katie Cairo, Fox 43 WPMT. And the homeowners say the room that scares them the most in the home is the basement.